Hi, I'm Cherie Valentine. Love and relationships are one of the most crucial elements for happiness. All areas of your life are affected by how you feel as a loving being, and especially as a woman. So many factors impact the success and the joy that you feel in your life, in work, at home. In my weekly radio show, Planting Seeds of Love, I explore all the topics that will teach you how to seed, weed, and feed your own souls so that love can flourish in all areas of your life. Because love is not just about the partnership and the romance. Love is about that feeling that comes from inside and emanates out and magnetizes everything to you that is good, that is kind, that is compassionate, that is non-judgmental, that is accepting, that is beautiful, that is joyful. And if that is not how you feel about yourself, about your life, about your children, about your partner, about the relationships in your, that you have, about the job that you have, the work that you're doing. You can change that. I've been talking about that on this weekly blog. And I've been talking about that in my radio show. And in particular, my focus this past, at the, since the beginning of the year, has truly been on self-love, on that love that we feel for ourselves from deep within. Everything in your life is a direct result from what's going on inside of you. So if you're not loving what you see, look inside. It's not about changing someone else or wishing somebody else would be different. It's about looking inside yourself and totally accepting who you are and falling in love with you. So this month is February, and we are heading into Valentine's Day. So I'd like to suggest a little something for you. Rather than thinking about February 14th being about romance, let it be about connection and community and caring for yourself, for others, I've spoken on this topic many times. As, as if you are a single woman wishing you weren't alone, this can be a dreadful day. And if you're in a relationship and you're so wanting a particular outcome, you can be left feeling deflated and disappointed. So how about you connect to the love within yourself and do something wonderful and sweet and caring for yourself or maybe you can do it for someone else, but from a place of giving. Wednesday, which is the 13th of February, is National Self-Love Day. And this is a movement that was started by Christina Rilo, who was my guest on Planting Seeds of Love a couple of weeks ago. And you can actually listen to that interview if you'd like by going to my Facebook page, uh, Cherie Valentine LLC, and you can click on archives and all the shows are there. So the shows centered around this topic all month. I had the global impact of self-love with Pernilla Lilla Rose on January 15th. On January 22nd, I talked about how we could unlock the seven layers of your inner wisdom. On the 29th, Madly in Love with Me with guest best-selling author Christina Rilo and starting the movement, International Self-Love Day. And then this past week, on February 5th, we had How to Say No Without Being Pushy or a Pushover with guest speaker Jen Duchenne. Next week, we're going to be talking about tapping into your inner wisdom to unleash your total woman. I am so passionate about helping women to step into their full, vibrant, loving, delicious power. 
And I'm going to keep bringing you topics and shows that can help you to do that. So right now, please take a moment to connect. Put your hands on your heart. Take a deep breath in and let it out. And say with me, I honor the loving being that I am. I am willing to receive all the love that I deserve. And I'm choosing and deciding right now to accept that I am love. I do deserve love. And I'm willing to express that love from deep within. I am wishing you a fabulous day, a fabulous week, and I'll be back before Valentine's Day to wish you a fabulous Valentine's Day. But start thinking about what you can do that will bring you joy and light up the love that is inside of you from a very beautiful place.